Mertz Schaffer here with the latest Big Brother Canada Evicti. Todd, let's get right into it. You didn't watch a lot of Big Brother Canada before you went on the show. Do you think that this was an advantage? Uh, in my own mind, yes, because I didn't go in guns firing in the, to, into the house trying to make these huge moves, conspiring to take out all these people or feeling the need to do more. I went into this house with a mindset. I'm, I need to learn. I need to, or what's the uh, saying? Um, overcome, adapt, conquer. Uh, that type mindset. So I just kind of learned trial and error. Went along with the flow. And it, it just oddly worked out for me, I guess, in a sense. Can you tell me more about your relationship with Spicy B in the house? What caused you to uh, vote against her? Um, just uh, observations that I've had just amongst myself and just certain things that I heard just made me feel a little uneasy with just moving forward. So I just had to uh, go with my uh, logical thinking and my gut and just go along with that plan. But that plan also I didn't trust because I feel like at the receiving end, it would have been me going home if Spicy didn't get it out. So that's why who else better to depend on and or you want something done right better rather than do it yourself. And that's what I've done and won that veto. When you get this close to the end, are you happy about making it to the final four or are you upset that you were this close to the finale? Um, I feel like it would be the same thing if I had went out in final three I've, then i'd probably be like i should have made it further so i'm grateful to make it where to have made made it where i got in final four seeing my goal was to be not to be that first person voted out that happened then i set my goal on just making it to jerry made it to jerry then I'd, my next goal was just to make it that final four spot but couldn't finish off my goal to make it to final two, but I'm still proud of myself. And I hope that uh, people who supported me along the way are also proud. Do you think that Lexus made a mistake in voting to eliminate you instead of Anthony? Um, yes and no, because if I was in her position and say, for example, it was Bailey, I would stick to my loyalty and my honesty toward that person and who I started the game off with. And I wouldn't have voted them out either. But in a sense of a resume type deal and what's going to look better if she do make it the final two, taking uh, somebody who haven't been on the block in two seasons mm -hmm. and uh, a huge uh, player, I think that would work better in her favor. That being said, I want to go back to earlier in the season, during the executive power of veto, after Victoria used it on you, you decided to uh, nominate Vivek and said, this one's for you, Dennis. Uh, why did you feel like you had to vindicate Dennis? Uh, well, not only because Vivek after throwing me under the bus four or five times <laughs> and get me in deep shit, but um, just because I just, just the way he's, Literally, Dennis was the only person in that house was, that was there for Vivek when he was down and out and just moping around and also used the power of veto on him. As soon as he got a bit of power and a bit of attention from the other house guests, he just threw him under the bus. So I looked at it in a way I wouldn't do that to, I wouldn't do that to anyone in the real world, let alone in the game. So I looked at it, it spoke volumes to me and I just think if it didn't happen, if I didn't get him out then, he was definitely going to do the same. Well, if he can't do the same to me because I seen through him and I wouldn't be there for him, I'd let him dig his own grave and go line it. But that being said, I think it would have backfired on one of us that were still left in the house if I didn't get him out that day. Also, earlier in the season, you kissed Donna as she was exiting the house. How would you define your relationship with her in the house, and where do you see it going outside of the house? Uh, we had a good, really good, strong relationship in the house. Like, definitely made the time go by a lot quicker. Um, and outside of the house? Sorry? I said outside of the house. How do you see it going? 
outside the house, I, I have no expectation now because like it's been a long time, both of us, well, she's been gone, but I'm sure we'll cross paths and if something happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. I still great game day, uh, amazing friend and I'm sure we will be friends or whatever it will turn into till whenever. How much of your strategy was to act like you knew nothing about the game? Sorry? I said, how much of your strategy was to act like you knew nothing about the game? Um, It was actually it was a huge part of my strategy because uh, it's a way of me find, finding information because I feel like people opened up to me a little more. And the fact that people know, knew that I literally kept a lot of things to myself and never spread information. Mm -hmm. So people would give me a few examples of situations that were go that was going on and I would just keep it and use it down the road and just use it as my benefit. And that's what I done. And it just worked out for myself. For someone who freely admits to not seeing a lot of the show beforehand, you managed to figure out the veto competitions quite quickly. Why do you think you were so good at them? Um, well, my whole life, I was just pretty adaptive to anything sports. Like, I can't say I was, well, the big brother puzzles isn't normal puzzles. <laughs> They're not the puzzles you throw on the floor and just build the border and fill them in. Mm -hmm. But in regards to the other ones, it's just things that, I was familiar with I uh, just easily adapted to and that's just the way I've been my whole life I'm a quick learner um Bailey decided not to nominate Anthony after she won HOH while Lexus winning the veto was more important as she cast the deciding vote did it upset you at all that Bailey protected Anthony and not you no because it was a plan that me and her formulated together because I where she's she's close with Anthony well she if it came to final two or that beat or what if it came to the veto because the plan was bailey me or bailey win hoh or me or bailey win that veto well that's a huge veto in hoh to win so you're obviously going to gun for it mm -hmm. but the plan was that we'll both hopefully both fall into one of those or both of those situations mm -hmm. and anthony was the next one that was going to go and if the strategy was, if that didn't work, the veto mm -hmm. was she never had her bit bridge burned with Anthony because at the end of the day, I'd rather be on the block because it would have been my fourth time hauling myself off and it would have just looked that much better. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it don't really matter who's on the block with that veto. It matters who wins. If Bailey wins the final HOH, do you think she will evict Anthony or Alexis? Um... I think Anthony. And if the final two comes down to Anthony and Lexus and you had to decide right now, who would you vote for to win? Oh, that's tough. I, that's uh, that's a, uh, I feel like I'm going to have to wait to hear their speeches at a uh, finale night for that one. <laughs> I can only oh. answer Bailey's in their position. Yeah, that's right. That's why I didn't ask that. <laughs> oh, amazing. Todd, thank you so much. All right, have a great day. Take care.